What it takes to be a great D lineman, it's a mindset more than anything else. It's not just a bunch of big guys hitting each other as hard as they can. There's a ton of technique, as you call it, kind of a ballet with the moves. I think with dancers, it's a lot of footwork and technique to it, so I think there's a lot of similarities. It's hard to describe the trenches of football as a beautiful place. But with the right perspective, it's easy to see that there is beauty in line play. It's an art form. And just like any great artist would go to Juilliard to improve their craft, talented defensive linemen are headed here to the University of Utah. As a result, Utah has become D-Line U. To be a great defensive lineman here at the University of Utah, desire, want desire to have the want to be good and carry on a good tradition that we've had here. And he's not going to make the first. Stop short. Going down in the trenches is really just you versus him. You got to have that mindset to be able to beat the guy across from you every play, no matter what. Not everybody can play in the trenches, so in my personal opinion, just you have to have just a mean mindset. The story of Utah's defensive line dominance starts with Steve Clark in 1981, elevates with Luther Ellis in 1994, and is punctuated with star Lotulale and Nate Orchard in 2012 and 2014. If you look at it, there's still players in the league right now that have came through here. They built that rep themselves of Utah being a D-line school. When I got here in 99, everybody talked about Luther Ellis. Star Lotulale. Nate Orchard, being with those guys and the mentality that they had, that's very contagious. Hundley going to be sacked back at the 14-yard line. That's the strength of the Utah defense. Now the defensive torch is being carried by Hunter Dimmick and Lowell Lotulale, two players whose approach to the position is not just a passing hobby, it's a family affair. My old man, he played DN always growing up and kind of got started when I found out he played DN. I wanted to as well. My brother Star, growing up, he did a good job of uh, roughing me up, teaching me to be tough as a young, at a young age. Hunter and Lowell, they're really explosive. You know, they're hardworking guys. They know exactly what we want from them as players. But the legacy doesn't stop there. There's another group of talented young linemen waiting to continue the tradition. We have uh, five guys that came in this summer with a lot of ability. They're all going to be true freshmen this year, and they're all going to be good at some point. You can kind of tell they're used to being the big guys on campus or at their school, but uh, they learn pretty quickly that's not the case here. We're just trying to pass down the knowledge just as the players before us pass it down to us. You know, I think it's our duty if we want to keep that D-line tradition here alive. So when you come in here, you know you're going to be mean, you're going to be the leader of the defense, and you need to learn that pretty quickly. As long as the University of Utah exists, it will still continue to produce great defensive linemen and grow the lore of D-Line U. We are, we are, we are D-Line U. U.